This is a lesson on the mystery misfire. Okay, we are working on the 2005 Dodge Ram 1500 4.7 liter. We got a misfire code for P0308. What we first did was uh, we swapped the coils uh, from number 8 to number 2, and number 2 into number 8. And then we deleted the codes and the misfire returned in the exact same position. So we know it was an ignition coil problem. So we went ahead and started to proceed to replace the spark plug. We pulled the spark plug and I figured, well, since I have the spark plug out, I'm going to do a compression test and uh, see what my results are. Well, my compression test, sorry, try taking off the lid off my marker, came out to 135 PSIs. And that was 10 engine rotations to get 135 PSI's and so after I got that I'm like hey the cylinders cool um, we'll go ahead and just change out the spark plug put it back in and it should be fine that's not what happened I changed the spark plug and the code came back, P0308. I'm like, hey, what's really going on? So I know I had a brand new spark plug in it, uh, did a compression test, and the cylinder was fine. And I saw these postings online that sometimes you can throw out a rocker, a roller rocker, and uh, it'll stop the valve from opening and closing, which will cause the misfire. So I went ahead and proceeded to take the valve cover off on the passenger side and um, found that, yes, one of the roller rock arms did fall out. So I thought it was going to be a simple changing of uh, the lifter and the roller rock arm and pop it back in. The problem is when I stuck them in with, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, next is this. This is the normal side. This is how it kind of looks like. The valve's closed. The position of the cam lobe is up. There's uh, pressure from the lifter pushing on the roller rocker that's kind of fit this pretty snug. When you grab this, you can kind of turn it just a tiny bit, but it's, it's got a lot of tension on it. You can feel it. Well, what happened in my case was I was reported that the car did overheat. And what happens is there's this ring that's right here. It's not supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look like this. In the head that uh, lets the valve seat right on it. It's called the uh, ring valve seat, I guess. And uh, what happens when it overheats, this little ring breaks away from the head and gets caught sideways with the valve getting caught partially open. Here, everything's closed. This is the, the flatness of the head. Here's the flatness of the head, and it's partially stuck open with this round ring uh, caught sideways. So it's wanting to go up, but with that ring jammed in it sideways, uh, it will not let it seat all the way. Even with the lobe up and the lifter putting pressure on this, leaves a little bit of a gap there, which makes it all sloppy. And it was so easy to put in with my hand. Uh, and it shouldn't be with the hand. You should be, get, be able to get it in a position with your hand, but then kind of push it back in there with a, an angled crowbar. That it'll pop, it'll push this down or this. I think it pushes this down enough to where that little air, that little hoop area on the lifter that's supposed to fall on top of this lifter. I mean, uh, the little the rocker arm has this little area that falls into the lifter and. It was in there, but it was still like real wobbly, and yeah, the the valve was down too much to put pressure to keep it in there. And to let you see, uh, this is my cylinder. This is the the hole where the valves go, and this is the ring. What has to be done is the head's gonna have to be removed, and they do this process called pinging. And uh, what it does is, uh, you know, when you hit a, a cold chisel and a hammer and you start to mushroom the head well that's kind of what it does it, it it misshapes the ring just slightly to where it embeds it into the head and if they do it correctly it won't come out for ever and um 
I want to give some warning because I used to have a Ford Escort that this same problem happened to. And uh, what happened to my Escort is uh, I had the ring fall out like that. I kept on running it, even with that misfire, thinking it was a spark plug. And I was like, oh, if it gets me home, I'll be grateful and I'll take care of the tune-up as soon as I can. Well, I did the tune-up too, and this is all started to happen to me. Uh, but what happened was, since I ran it too long, the ring broke. And here's an example of the ring breaking. The ring broke, fell in here. And as my piston kept going up and down, it kept smashing them smaller, smashing them smaller. They got caught behind the valves. Uh, one of my valves were stuck open, causing the misfire. And somehow my second valve, the front of it broke off, dropped into here. It was pounding it and pounding it. You see all kinds of dents at the top of my cylinder head. And then finally it poked a hole right through the side of my block. And I couldn't even do it. I mean, I could have took the head in to get fixed. Not with those markings on my cylinder head, though. I probably would have never did that. But uh, the block was destroyed because the little Hershey's Kiss valve, after it was done, it looked like a Hershey's Kiss. It busted right through the block. All my coolant fell in, and yeah, can't even rebuild it. It was just a catastrophic failure, and I jumped that Escort. <laughs> but... This is just to explain to you what was going on with the whole process of why you're getting that mystery misfire and uh, the way to fix it is you got to do a valve job on it. And right now I wouldn't run it anymore because you run the risk of breaking that ring up. Right now it's just holding the valve open, everything's good, we just got to repair the head. But if that ring breaks after you continue to run it, it's going to drop in a cylinder and do what it did to my Escort. And uh, I know that's a V8. It's probably a lot stronger. Mine was a little four banger, but still, same principle. So in order to fix this, got to pull the heads off, send them in a machine shop, have the works done on it, shaved, uh, valve job, replace these uh, valve seats, the ones that came off, and then reping in some new ones, uh, reping the old ones so they don't pop out later, and. Uh, not having to replace these after all. If you find that the valve is stuck in the down position, you won't have to replace the lifter or the rocker. It, the rocker just kind of fell out and s sat on the side of the valve cover. So you'll probably hear a kind of a clicking or like an exhaust leak because mine happened on the exhaust port or the exhaust valve, I'm sorry. And uh, that's how I figured out what was going on. So hopefully this video helps other people to have a similar uh, problem. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a P0308. This is just telling me it's in cylinder 8. Uh, P0300 is a general misfire code. 301 through 308 is going to tell you exactly where the misfire is happening. And if you try swapping the coils and that doesn't work and putting in a new plug, that doesn't work. Oh, and the reason I got the 135 PSI is that sometimes this will jingle back, back in place like that. So it probably stood in there for the time that I was doing my compression test. And when I shut it off, it stopped like that. So when I went into taking the valve cover off, I found the the little, this roller rocker over here on the corner of the, just sitting on the side of the valve cover. And uh, undamaged, nothing's wrong with it. It just jingled out of place. Because the valve didn't come up all the way and there was no more pressure off this spring. And you can tell that this spring's tighter than that one because that, that one's open. That one's closed. Okay, I hope this video helps somebody understand why they couldn't get rid of their misfire code. And uh, if you do have this problem, yes, the heads have to come off and you have to send them in the machine shop to have the regular um, shaved head, valve job, uh, check it for cracks, you know, all that good stuff done to it. Uh, I got an estimate to do both heads about 375 uh, that's including valves uh, if I needed valves because uh, there is a chance that that valve got damaged uh, so you don't want to stick a bent valve in there well thank you for watching my video if it was informative uh, please give me a thumbs up and uh, like my video and if you have any questions feel free to ask in my comments thank you so much bye bye